a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Hello my wonderful people, welcome back to my wonderful channel Reality Digits. The headlines, thousands of supporters of the All Progressive Congress on Monday besieged the Benin Edo State Headquarters of Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to protest. They made the no allow as we hold a law to access the election materials. I don't know what I go carry on your own ABC. Double of Benin has urged the Edo State Governor elect Senator Mondo Olo to do everything possible to fulfill his campaign promises to the people of Edo State. All right, my wonderful people, if I go here on another tutorial, I go like, welcome all amazing subscribers and viewers. Thank you all so much for joining us on today's wonderful news. But if this is your first time of watching, can they subscribe? Like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our videos. All amazing subscribers, thank you all so much for joining. Oh, yeah, make a yarn on the tutorial. Thousands of supporters of the All Progressive Congress don't come storm INEC office in Benin City to protest against the alleged blood by the People Democratic Party and the ASI Hodalo to tamper with the resource sheets. <laughs> they said they no go allow that thing happen because they know that Netomon Ugolo won on a free and fair ground. No matter say they don't get directed from the courts to allow ASI Hodalo to assess the electoral materials. But APC said no way. <laughs> As the Hodalo and the PDP had obtained the court's entry order, directing INEC among other officials to allow the PDP to make a comprehensive check of the electoral materials that was available on the 21st of September 2024. The order was given in a suit to mark EPT slash ED slash GOV slash O1M slash 2024 between Ihodalo and People Democratic Party as applicants and Independent National Electoral Commission, Mont Bubulu, and the All Progressive Congress as respondent. So in a rule order which was dated on Sunday, September 29, and it was signed by the Secretary of the Tribunal, Muaz Ibrahim Bagudu. The Chairman of the Tribunal, Honorable Justice W.A. Oji, said that having critically examined the details of the relief sought, the supporting affidavit and the written address of the council, the application is granted in the following terms. One, he hereby order, that is the first respondent, he directed the first respondent to grant the applicant or the solicitor and forensic document examiner unfettered access to assess all the electoral materials and to open up for inspection all electoral documents or any document in the custody of the national chief electoral commissioner or any office of the commissioner the first responded particularly that is the voter register the ballot paper to beaver's machine forms <laughs> it's a which was utilized for the conduct of the Edo state government election held on september 21st 24. so he wants them to allow the pdp to assess those things he's also said that the first response that is mandated to take immediate steps to ensure that all the forms that is form ec25b and form ec25b1 from ec zero and so many other forms used at the gubernatorial election of the 21st september 24 he wants all of them to be inspected but apc are standing on their ground with eye neck and other officials say pdp no go access those things a member of the applicant legal team olushegu jolao submitted the order to eye neck and he was told to come back the following day being on tuesday to give the feedback so speaking to journalists thereafter he said he came to INEC office to submit the paper that was given to him in attempt to get material to, to flesh up their petition in furtherance of the court order received on September 29, 24. But when he got there, they were unable to get an audience with the resident electoral commission. But they were able to meet the head of the legal department who told them that they were preparing a schedule for their inspection. So they have not been able to inspect because they have not been able to have access to the beavers, that is the bimodal voters authentication system machine, to interrogate the same with their team. So where they are right now is that they were told whenever the schedule is ready, <laughs> they will be contacted by the INEC, which is not what they expected. And all the petition they have is still on Saturday. So if they know if we comply between now till on Saturday, hey, they are ready to file another petition against the INEC and the APC. So maybe let me know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions in the comment section. Because the way the matter today go, as we would no go give up. He said he will surely get what rightly belong to him and to Edo people. Make I know what to think about this matter. Going on after this, we have 
The above Bini Oba Ewerato has all they do state elect governor, Senator Mondo Uhuru, to do everything possible to fulfill his campaign promises to the people of Edo State. So no be by telling them what he is going to do during his campaign. And when he gets there, he will not be able to fulfill it. There was a report that Senator Mondo Bolo, the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, was declared the winner of the September 21st, 2024 governorship election by Independent National Electoral Commission. So Mondo Bolo pulled a total number of 291,667 votes to defeat his closest rival, Asui Hodalo, of the People's Democratic Party, who scored 247,474 votes, and Olumida Bata, who came third with 22,000 votes. So the Bini monarchy made the call when he received the governor-elect and his deputy Dennis Tausa on Tuesday at his palace. The royal father, who expressed gratitude to God for the peaceful conduct of the election, told the governor-elect Netomond Oro that the hallmark of good governance starts with fulfilling promises. Fulfilling campaign promises made to the people of Edo State. So he thanked the God Almighty for the peaceful election and he said, hey, Thank God that God don't hear their prayer. And even now, the Oba of Bini said that they are still fasting and praying for peace and tranquility in Edo State. Because he said he cannot end the prayer without thanking President Bola Metunubu, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces for everything for ensuring a peaceful election. He told Senator Mondo Oholo that this place, that is the palace, is open for them anytime that whether 1 a.m or 2 a.m so they can come and they will see him the favorite is netomondo oblo and his deputy went ahead to tell the above Benin that the reason why they came to him is to present the certificate of return to him to tell him that they really appreciate all the good work he did during the governorship election so everybody would like to know what you're thinking about this matter in our comment section i would like to hear from you once again thank you so much for staying to us but if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page yet, please do feel free to like and subscribe and also share. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video to all amazing subscribers. Thank you so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of this segment. Like, comment, awareness. Bye for now.